Hi, this is Rahul with RightToTravel.com. In case you have been wondering where I was all this time, well, I've been to Bangalore and now I'm back. And like I promised, something really big is coming. Well, it's not really something. Actually, two new things have come to my channel and today we are going to unveil it right in front of all of you guys. So I'm going to keep my promises because I'm a man of my word. So, inside this red box is something. The first thing that I'm going to unveil today. Can you guess what it is? Yeah? Well, some of you can, I know, because you're connected with me on Facebook, so you know what it is. But, for those who do not know, here goes nothing. Okay, out is something which looks like a body bag and inside which we have what's coming out guys oh you guys already know by now it's a Dionysi Chrono one piece race suit from Revzola.com and I have to really thank their customer services for replying to my seri series of emails. I think I've mailed them about 14 times and they really helped me out. Thanks John and thanks Anthony for the great review. And John was giving me all the replies. So a really, really big thanks goes out to him. So let's try this on and let's see how it looks on me. Putting on a race suit is a little complicated, guys. And for people like me who are wearing it for the very first time or maybe just a few times. Uh, you know, Dianese is built for slim people. So that's why I chose this brand, even over Alpine Stars. Though Alpine Stars also has a Euro fitting, Dianese is more fitted towards slim people and people were in proportion so if you have broad shoulders or maybe a belly this is not the suit brand for you but if you are race type belt then a racer type belt does look very good in the Dianese suit types and I'm really impressed with the fit I mean it's a off the counter suit but it fits like it was custom made for me I'm going to give you a suit review guys that's gonna be later. Where do you the track? Back protector somehow looks separately doesn't come with this suit. Does come with a nice GP style hump. So now I'm actually inside this suit and it's not very really comfortable to walk around like standing up straight is difficult and moving around is not that easy but the thing is that when you get on the bike, get onto the tuck position, it becomes really easy afterwards. So. The first part is done unveiling the cats out of the bag and you know it's Dionysi Chrono one piece leather suit from Revzola.com and now we're going to move into the second part and I have more surprises for you and you can never guess what I'm gonna unveil on the next part so if you can I guess you have some telepathic powers. Let's go and now move into the second part of this review. So, on to the second part of the surprise. Now, most of you had already noticed that I had purchased the Dianese Chrono Leather Suit and as it was uploaded on my Facebook. Some of my subscribers who are not connected to me on Facebook are having the surprise today, right now, in this video. But some of you already know about it through Facebook. But the second thing, which I did promise that something really big was coming and I did not show you what that was. And here I'm gonna unveil it. So I've got a mystery black box here, and who can guess what it's inside? So should I unveil it?
Ta-da! It's a GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition cam and now we're gonna have two GoPros along with we already have the DSLR so obviously we have three cams now and I guess you did not see that one coming the latest of GoPros right now directly in from USA from the GoPro.com website so now we have great camera angles and great quality of footage you'll see some uh, 4k footage from this cam very soon on my channel but I guess you like the, both the surprises the Dainese suit and the GoPro and this channel will continue to s serve you better with this modified equipment and high, high quality technical e equipment I was in Bangalore to collect these things but I didn't just go there as a courier boy and just to go and collect I was riding motorcycles there so see what I did there so that video is coming very soon I rode at 174 kilometers top speed of the Duke and the RC guys were doing around 180 and after that we went for twisties and we rode really hard on the twisties as well that video is coming so please subscribe and I will promise you with more and more exciting videos you can already see the Duke and the RC's really rocking it out on nice road in Bangalore later we hit the Mysore stretch and there we do the twisties part so yeah two surprises in but more to come reviews coming and this ride video as well so subscribe keep connected to my channel and don't miss out any of my videos thanks for watching this is Rahul I'll see you very very soon